Welcome to Adobe Photoshop CC. This tutorial we're going to learn about the various workspaces in Photoshop. So uh, once you open Focus Photoshop you basically have the welcome screen here which uh, where you can create uh, new files. You can open up recent files of any kind. You can see several files of mine here. Uh, you can also click on the learn option if you want to learn additional things that are basically uh, in Photoshop you can go to the Adobe sites and then uh, of course you can create your own new document you can do a search here so uh, we're gonna basically just click on one of these two I don't know just to see something so I'm just gonna click on this uh, beach image here so uh, the main thing that you're gonna see here is the stage this is your overall large area workspace where you're gonna see and you'll have a description for any image you have open uh, with a little tab so if I open up another document, um, like uh, Beach 4 here, click open, you'll see that there'll be information about it. Each of these are PSDs, for example. Uh, they have some information about the bit rates. This is 8-bit. And uh, because it is a Photoshop file, it's layered and it has mass, uh, which you can see here. Same on this one. So uh, each of these images have that. Uh, to the left, you'll have which is typical in most Adobe programs are the tools. So the tools are all here. And you can click on this little arrow, double arrow, to uh, sort of expand them or shrink them down. So you can adjust that. Uh, you can always click on each of these tabs, by the way, in the view menu here. At the top, you have the main controls. These are the controls, and each one has like a drop down where you can basically go down and see additional things when there's an arrow. Uh, attached to it so typically there's sort of nested controls underneath uh, the main menu is the file menu for opening and saving things the edit which has the copy and the paste and so forth image layers working with layers uh, type select and then of course filters uh, all kinds of filters the new 3d content is always under here and then view this is the different view options available we'll get into that in a another tutorial on how to navigate in Photoshop and then of course the window menu has pretty much everything in here if you think of uh, Adobe software where do we find things always go to the window menu and you'll basically have each of these and click on one of them for example the character and it will pop up uh, depending on the workspace you have you might have little icons like this on the right here uh, of course there's a help menu here so you can always go to the help and, and do some search online, uh, which is always good. And then uh, down here, uh, down here, you have uh, sort of your tool options, and they change based upon whichever tool you have selected here. So you can see here, uh, some of these will, will change based upon that. Then you have your uh, alignment tools here. And then uh, over here on the right, you have your main windows. And these little guys have tabs. So you can click on them, like the libraries, the adjustments, or the channels, or paths, to make them active. If you want to hide or adjust different panels, like for example, the adjustments here, if I double click on it, it will sort of collapse it. So the layers pops up. If I double click on it, it sort of expands it. Uh, if you go right in between some of these windows, you can basically move so you can see here on the side I got an arrow so I can drag these out resize them I can do that for these little guys here these little widgets which basically if I click on any of them they'll sort of pop open so you can see each of these here just by clicking on them alright uh, if you want to change the order of these you can typically we want layers here but you can always drag them around and reestablish them so if you want channels on the left and then paths and then layers, you can do that. Um, and then up here on the right, you have a search menu here, which allows you to search different topics in Photoshop. And then this little widget in the far right corner, this is a very important one. This one allows you to go to the different workspaces, which we're going to cover in just a sec here. I do want to mention a couple other things. We have these little double arrows, which collapse windows. These little sort of hamburger sort of linear icons, when you click on it, basically there are, uh, it shows you a list of things doing with that window. So these are uh, auto select parameters for the adjustment layers, for example. And uh, you know each of these sort of has that. So this has to do with layers. 
is the layers menu here. Okay. And finally, uh, let's click on the workspace options here. And you can see we're in the essentials workspace, but you can switch to the 3D workspace. And all of a sudden, certain properties have changed. The timeline down here, for example. Uh, you can go to a painting workspace where we have swatches. We have a little navigator here. Right? And then you can click in here and you can try out these different ones. Photography, for example, which has a histogram, navigator, and layers, and libraries here. So each of these have that. You can always reset uh, a workspace if you change it. So if we go back to Essentials, uh, notice I moved layers and channels here. So if I click on this and go down to Reset Essentials, it basically brings it back to the way it was. Now you can also uh, make your own workspace. So if for some reason I didn't want uh, swatches, I never use swatches. Uh, I do, but pretend I don't for a moment. And then under the window menu, uh, let's see, I want, I don't know, uh, let's see, maybe the histogram. And I want that to be docked in here. So I just move over until you see this blue line of box and then boom, it's in here. Um, I could also do the navigator. If I want to move that out, I could do that. Um, but I'm going to leave it where it's at right now. But you can see here, I can just click on each of these tabs again. If I want to rearrange them, just move them over. And then you basically just slide them back and forth like so. And then uh, say I adjusted this whole workspace and found one that I liked. I can then go up here to this and go down to um, create a new workspace. Give it a title and then click save. And I could have keyboard shortcuts, menus, toolbars, all these different things apply to this individual workspace. So that's pretty handy because you can have uh, keyboard shortcuts that are specific to that workspace. So I'm going to cancel out. I don't want to save this workspace, but I wanted you to see how to do that. So that's a general overview of the workspace in uh, Adobe Photoshop CC. Again, in future tutorials, we'll cover all these different options and tools and lots of fun things. So see you soon in Adobe Photoshop CC. Cheers.